Yeah. We have space buns today. And I am heading to the convention center. I just had breakfast with Al and Donald. We went to Pada Chow. It was delicious. It's nice to get something just a little different. Thank you. This morning, it is like 10.30 uh, right now. And I'm meeting Stuart in the vendor hall. So I think I'll leave like five rows left to go in there. So I ended up leaving the Puppet Slam a little early yesterday so that I could get a head start on editing my video. And I'm glad I did because that video barely made it last night. I was falling asleep while I was editing it. I was like listening to myself talk, falling asleep. So I think that's a great sign. But uh, I pushed it out just last minute. I'm so tired. Um, so I got a little bit of extra sleep. I think I got like six hours, seven hours maybe. And uh, yeah, today is about finishing the exhibit hall, uh, costume contest, uh, costume walk. I'm gonna go see Desmond in the BIPOC lounge. And tonight we're gonna go see the D&D movie at the movie theater. Yay! And Gen Con tickets sold out for Saturday and four day badges. That's incredible. I would not be surprised if Gen Con set some attendance records this year. I know they did for events. Um, we exceeded the most number of events ever so far, which is 21,000 this year. Uh, so I would not at all be surprised if there was some sort of attendance record. So I was browsing the fans of uh, Gen Con Facebook page that this morning and it's got thousands and thousands of people on it. And surprisingly, a lot of them are not fans of Gen Con. They just desperately hate the show. I don't know. I, be, I I was on that page, and so many people are just angry and hateful. And I just, I, was, I guess, I, I guess what was happening is I was inhaling some of that, and it was kind of souring my experience of the show. Not that I was starting to dislike it, but I couldn't enjoy it as much just because of how much hate some people were having on there. So I think I'm gonna have to dip out of that page just for a little bit. <laughs> Anything fun? Yeah, that was good. Like, there's good banter. The only thing was true, them had to leave after about an hour. Who who left? No, they got killed. Yeah, but I think, yeah. Well, they got killed because they had to leave. Yeah. Just, uh, no. I can't remember their names. Uh, one of them was a girl, girl with glasses. She was playing some librarian character, and then some other girl who was also playing a librarian character. <laughs> a different kind. So they. What event did you go to? Uh, it's ice cream sandwich. What was it? Audience participation. Okay. Where everything was called Steve. <laughs> so. Okay. So what was good about it? Uh, I, I think there were a couple of the characters were really good in it. I think the story was good. Uh, kind of kept moving along quite quickly, which was interesting. So the audience stuff at the start, 
don't know, it's a bit, you know, people shouting around and stuff, references I wasn't getting, but I think they kind of, they got it out of the way quite early, and then they just got on with the story, which Good. actually worked quite well. That's the way to do it. That's the, the part of audience <laughs> participation that can be like a hit or miss. Yeah. No, they did some, it was, some of it worked out really well, it was really funny, because they did these kind of flashback scenes where they paired off the groups, and uh, there's some really good, some of the stuff started out as a strange idea, but I think the players really bought into it and made it work, so good. that was really good. Hey, so. that sounds good. Yeah, very good improv. Very was, good improv, yeah, very yeah. good. We bought some dice at the uh, Gen Con merch oh, booth, yeah. and they gave me that lanyard as a freebie, okay. and I was like, oh, it's got like beer and, and uh, was it casks or barrels on it? So it's a lanyard holder, so you can replace the one that you got. Oh, Our favorite! Hi, no. Hello! Hi, everybody! Jasmine, tell me about the BIPOC lounge, please. Okay. The BIPOC lounge is a wonderful lounge made for and by BIPOC people <laughs> in association with Rose Gauntlet that allows people to have a safe space for gaming. Uh, BIPOC people are counted as black, indigenous people of color. So pretty much everyone in the, in the spectrum. Um, the room is set up for BIPOC people, by BIPOC people to allow a safe place for them to game, to talk to industry members, to coordinate and have meetings, and also to relax and have fun. There are refreshments, there, there's a games library, everything's around for them to have a blast. And if BIPOC people want to show up and hang out, what are some other things that are happening in the space that like... There's a meeting room, like what are they for? Oh, the meeting rooms are for people who like have a, they want to have a one-on-one -on -one with an industry member, or maybe they want to have a one-on-one -on -one with some other designer to talk about game design, or if they even just want a quiet space, a super quiet space, like let me just get away from the hubbub, they can borrow the room, sit down and relax for a bit, and uh, go about the business. Thank you. What, what are the hours? Uh, 10, oh sorry, it starts at noon and ends at 10 p.m. every night. And remember, there's a social mixer on the first day of the con, starting at 6.30 to 9.30. And then we have an industry mixer that is 6 to 8 on Friday of the con. That's in a completely different room, unfortunately. Okay. But Thank you. How did the mixer go? The mixer went very well, actually. It was a blast. We had 150 people in here. and We had some jammy music. I am seated. It was... Everyone said I had a good time. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for all your hard work. Dice booth. I got a new set of dice, Ooh. and then uh, I'm trying to find stuff because I'm getting ready to run a new uh, 5D campaign. So finding tiles and things like that for that for that campaign. Mm, nice. That sounds pretty really good. Um, excited for the costume walk. I am very much. Yes. Yeah. So I skirted over here real fast. Thank you so much for saying hi. Yeah. No oh, do you want to say hi to anyone? Uh, rock on. See you later. <laughs> next. Bye. Bye. Hey, it's you. Yes. What was your name again? Oh, uh, Kevin. Kevin, and I met you in 20. 21? Uh, yeah. Right? The first one after COVID? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. And uh, how many years have been, you been coming to Gen Con now? Um, ever since, every year. That's awesome. What is the biggest change between your first year and your now year? I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> do you have like a routine? Like what do you do every year? 
What are you excited every year? Uh, yeah. Well, every year I've been doing the first exposure playtest hall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yep, good. that's uh, good. Checking out the new prototypes. Uh, you know, walking the exhibit hall. Mm -hmm. that, that's a must. Yep. Uh, and something new this year uh, is Jack's Donuts. Mm. Yeah. And uh, would you recommend or like it's just okay? No, I would recommend. Yeah, yeah, I like them too. I like them a lot. And you get to have them all week long if you get a big box. Yeah, they have vegan donuts. How did I not know they have vegan donuts? <laughs> yeah. I should know that. But yeah, other than that, you know, just uh, have a nice con. Good. Are you going to watch the costumes go by? Yeah. Me yeah. too. Okay. I am out. Yeah. I mean, that might just be me. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, do you want to say hi to somebody? Uh, I do. I want to say hi to Erin Durbin. Uh, she is my wife. This is her first year here, and this lady right here has, like, she was nervous and everything, but after watching her stuff, she was actually way more excited. Yes, than, uh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so you, I am very happy. <laughs> if you're nervous about Gen Con, there's a way around the thing that makes you nervous. There definitely yeah. The thing is. that's making you nervous does happen here, probably. Like, there's a lot of crowds and a lot of stuff, but uh, you can get around it. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you can. And yeah, watch her other video. It's about uh, planning for Gen Con and everything. It was also, it's going to put my wife at ease who hates crowds, but she was in looking at with a, a anticipation. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you got before it. we got here <laughs> in a good way. Is there, uh, what was like, what's been your guys' favorite thing this year? favorite thing so far this year is I think just getting to play test all the new games because oh, it feels yeah. like because we haven't yeah. been able to be out here yep. to do games yep. there's just so many more that I would have never thought of <laughs> there's so much stuff I don't I've never seen before it's so good yeah it, uh -huh. it, it's, it's been absolutely awesome so awesome. yeah that, that's been the, and I know we have way more to test today and tomorrow so <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys anything you recommend I check out with my friend who likes more casual things uh, casual things, yeah. There was actually uh, a game that we found that's called, um, it was called Monster Apocalypse. Okay. And it's, yeah, uh, it's just a game where honestly monsters just battle each other. Yeah. But it's really chill and really cool and uh, yeah, very simple. So yeah, that's what we found and really awesome game. I'm going to look up, I'm going to look that one up. Okay, well, thank you so much for saying hi. Thank you. And uh, thank you for liking my video. Not nice no day. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. I believe and uh, we just went and went through the hall a lot and we played some demos we played rule for it and we played Suro I showed off um, the Duke and we also had a quick look at Onitama though they didn't have an open copy so it was hard to look at <laughs> and I picked up a board game it's the first game board game I bought at Gen Con this year and it is Dwarf Romantic by Pegasus Spiel. If you're looking for Pegasus Spiel in the hall, it is not where it says it is on the map, which is like 1500 something. It's like on row, I want to say like 2200. You know where the exhibitor hall gets a little bit longer? It's right at the front of the hall at that corner. Anyway, Dwarf Romantic just won uh, Game of the Year by Spiel des Jahres. So, and it's a co op.
can't pack tonight. Why not? If we pack tonight, Gen Con ends. Gen Con's gonna end. It's, it's not gonna end. It's gonna end. It's not gonna end unless you pack, Derek. And if we don't pack, if we all believe it'll end, keep going, it'll then it can't worse. end and it'll go on forever. We're gonna pack. Don't pack. I'm not gonna help you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> don't pack. No, we're gonna pack. No, yeah. I'm not. I know. Don't. If you pack, they all leave. No. They'll all leave. No. no they... Are you filming me or you? Because they need to know that you're crying. I'm not crying. I just sounded like it for a second. I'm there. not crying. It's just raining on my face. See? It's 11. Yes. I'm going to edit this video as quickly as I can so I can get as much sleep as I can. But we, I don't know, last time I talked to you guys, but we went to eat at the rotating restaurant at the top of the Hyatt. It's called The Eagle. Nest. I feel like my makeup looks terrible. I feel like I'm dying. Um, Eagle's Nest, that was delicious. They We just kind of walked in so they couldn't get us all seated together, which was sad. And then we rushed off to the D&D movie and watched Thieves something. Th 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 Honor Among Thieves, that was fun. And we got the special limited edition popcorn buckets that Watsi was providing to like in the first week of the movie's release so that's cool a movie was fun it's definitely like a simpler movie and it's i think everybody would enjoy it but especially it's good for D, &D people because there's some references that make more sense if you play the game and yeah it was really good i think it was silly and just like a laugh and i thought it was really fun and i think it was really cool that Watsi did that like rented out the circle center like a screen and just do screenings of that movie. Wasn't that smart? Didn't they give you like free popcorn and drinks too? Yeah, yeah, we got free popcorn, free drink. It was very good. Uh, now we're back at the hotel. Derek took a box of stuff from GMHQ so that he could start packing, which I think is a terrible idea because if you start packing, drink on it. Hmm. Oh no, no, no. I'm just not ready. It's always too short. Today did go by like a, a blink in the eye. It started out and then it was like, whoop, done. Baby, you gotta keep this in. Not the tears in, you need to keep this in the video. <laughs> when you said that, I'm like, oh yeah, I will never I cry again. I have to, I, I really <laughs> had to correct that. But I, I really hope next year, next year, my goal is to see if we can get Becca and Kenda and Sandor and Matt and Eric and Melissa and Stuart to all come. And maybe also my Irish friends. And everybody should come to Gen Con. It's so much fun. It's okay, baby. Oh. It'll always be next year. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it won't be. have to be next year if we never leave. Is that how it works? Did you have a good Gen Con, Derek? Yep. Are you sad it's over? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to edit this and then call it a night. Derek's going to pack because he's silly. And um, tomorrow I have two events. I have Artemis, which is a bridge simulator game in the studio. And in Ballroom 500, I have a musical about teaching a robot how to love. And that's it. Then Gen Con ends. I met so many cool people today, Derek. So many people said hi to me and said they enjoyed my videos. Oh, see, I told you. It makes yeah. me so happy. You didn't make your videos. Are you we... should tell her in the comments whether no. she should make a dog vlog or not. No, I, we don't need that. We Nelly, don't. Nelly, you want to show your dog off. So I know, bad. but it's yeah, but it's okay. We don't. You, I don't need to push myself on we'll people. Just, like roll a dice in the background or something and then be like, oh, look, it's a gamer dog. Haha, <laughs> ha, everyone loves that. Put the dog behind a DM. Can you imagine that little dog freaking out behind a DM screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? Yeah. Problem solved. There's a really nice guy that I met earlier and he said that um, him and his partner watched one of my longer videos. I think he said it was 45 minutes. I do not remember making any of my videos. And he said it was like an intro to Gen Con or what to expect or something. And it really helped them, like, not feel overwhelmed by it. Mm -hmm. I need to revisit my old videos and make some new ones, maybe. Uh -huh. Actually, if you have suggestions on what videos would be helpful. Oh, I'm going to go now. Good night, friends. Smash. Good night, friends. And? Have fun and stay safe. And?
and like and subscribe and smash smash those together like you're making schnitzel <laughs>